Hi, this video tutorial series contains creating an animated illustration. This tutorial will help you animate the cool illustrations you have drawn, or upgrade a scene in the game. In this video, you will see a character wearing pretty dresses and armed with wonderful robotic arms, and you will learn a process of creating an animated illustration with mysterious backgrounds. This tutorial was created in previous versions of any portrait, so some UI may be slightly different. First, draw an illustration. The image must be separated by several layers so that you can animate it. Separate illustrations into several files. The main character is saved as a layered PSD file. I wanted to create a foggy city, so I saved the background image with the buildings as a PSD file. The sky is also getting ready for the background. Let's add effects that make the illustration even more wonderful. I've saved an image layer that highlights the lights of buildings. I'm going to add a particle effect here too. I also made a layer image that represents the phenomenon that the periphery of the picture taken by the camera becomes a little darker. For the same reason, I also prepared a noise image. I prepared fog images to create a mysterious atmosphere. I have prepared two PSD images. First, it is the character illustration. There are the character and robotic arms, and all parts are separated by layers. All parts of the character will be animated, including the robot arms. I made buildings as PSD images. I want to have a foggy effect between these buildings. If you do not add animations or effects to the background, you do not have to create a PSD file. Let's preview the result of the prepared images. Character, background images, effect images, and particles are arranged in order. Completion of this will be a very nice illustration animation. Thinking about this screen, let's start creating it now. Set the camera and light settings of the Unity scene prior to the main task. Delete directional light. Although omitted in the video, the ambient light color must be set to black. Change the camera's clear flags to solid color and change projection to orthographic. Change the values of size and clipping planes. Run the Any Portrait Editor. Create a new portrait. Press the Import PSD file button to open the character PSD file. Check the information of loaded layers. Now is a step to bake PSD files to Atlas. Set the size and number of Atlas and press the bake button. Makes Atlas enough to be large to render in high quality. Press the complete button to create the character. As meshes were created, the character is created from the PSD file. In this video, the purpose is to reproduce the illustration in the scene, so execute bake and place the character in the scene. Let's load the original illustration to the scene in order to locate the character as similar as possible to the source. Create a new quad. Create a new material, and apply the original illustration. Apply this material to the quad and change its position and size. Adjust the size of the illustration to fit the screen. Now modify the position and size of the character created by any portrait to match the original illustration. Next, let's load the PSD illustrations with the buildings into the any portrait editor. Create an atlas. Execute the bake to place the image of the buildings to the scene. Go back to Unity Editor and modify the scale and position of the buildings as if you were adjusting the transform of the character. Make the original illustration translucent and move them forward and backward to continue comparing and correcting.
The character and buildings are located very similarly to the original illustrations. I selected the buildings and modified the Z per depth setting. By default, the Z value for the depth of the layers is set to be quite small. I increased the Z value because I would add fog meshes between the buildings. The next task is to add meshes to organize the rest components of the illustration. Let's make a background using the sky image. Add a new quad. Modify the size of the quad and create a new material. Apply the sky image to the material. Move the sky mesh backward and modify the size to make it as a background. Change the settings of the texture assets before placing other images to render them in high quality. You have completed placing the basic elements, characters, buildings, and background image. Let's add elements that give effects to the illustration. Let's add the fog effect to the background first. The fog effect will be applied as an animation later, but you can preview the fog at this step. Create a quad and an additive material and apply the fog image. Place the fog mesh between buildings. Duplicate the fog mesh and move them forward and backward. To do, I have prepared several fog images. Let's add a noise effect, prepare a small noise texture, and create a new quad and material to create a noise effect. Next, let's add a lighting effect by the lights of buildings. You can make the screen brighter by using an additive shader. Create a quad and material in the same way as before and apply the image to be used for the glow effect, and complete the light effect. Next, let's add an effect that darkens the edges of the screen. This is also known as the vignette effect. It makes the screen darker by using a material with the multiply shader. Making the edge of the screen darker seems to have quite a mood. Finally, compare with the original illustration and see if they are well placed in the scene.